Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are looking at the Tower of Hanoi puzzle, and we're going to talk about the math behind it. There was a comment recently on my YouTube channel, one of my videos, I do read those comments, and it said, how have we gone from video games to math, and there are a lot of video games that I enjoy playing that actually have a math background, and this is one of them for sure. In fact, I'm using the website Math is Fun. Dot com and the games section and uh, cool math games I use often I look for puzzle type games that actually teach math principles and this one here can be used that way so let's go ahead and take a look at the math behind the towers of Hanoi first off let me explain the puzzle to you it's easiest to explain while just having three pieces this is a puzzle where you move a pile called a tower from one place to another. The goal of the game is to move this entire group over to here. The trick with it is that you cannot put a larger piece on top of a smaller piece. Notice I can't do that. I can't put that piece on top of there. I have to move this piece over to here. Now the pieces don't have to be in order when they go from largest to smallest, but you do have to move them so that you don't, like I said, have a smaller piece, a larger piece over top of a smaller piece. That's it. So let's go ahead and show this here. I love that it shows down here the minimum moves. That's really nice. So the minimum moves for moving a tower of three is seven. You take seven moves, and those are the seven moves you do to get to that place. Um, when you increase the tower by one, basically what you're doing now is you're doing that series of seven moves, let me show them to you, to get the tower of three moved to the middle section. So you do that first series of seven moves, then you do one additional to move the four over to there, and then you do the other moves seven again to get the three over to here. So notice we had seven moves to move the three, plus seven more, so we doubled it, and then we had one additional move to get the base piece over. That's the algorithm. So let's go back here from three disks to four disks goes from seven to 15. You double it and add one. When you go up to five, take a guess, what's that going to be now? I have to move the entire tower of four to here. That's all 15 moves. Then I have one additional, and then I move those four again. So it's going to be doubled plus one. So what's 15 times two, 30, plus one will give us 31. Look at that, the minimum moves is 31. And that's the algorithm, and it continues up. So it doubles to 62, plus 1 will give us 63. We double that, and that will give us 126, plus 1 is 127. And for our final level that this will give us, we'll double it and add 1 to give 255. Now, I have a video where I actually show how to do this with nine levels. So try and figure out how many moves do I show in that video with nine levels to the tower. Well, we double 255. That will give us 510. And then we add one to give 511. So I will have a link in the video description for when I actually solve the entire thing with 511 moves. I'll have a video, a link in the video description to solving this one, 8, here with our 255 moves. And I'll also have a link to this website, fun, mathisfun.com, because let's face it, math is fun. And that is also a video, hopefully, to answer my friend's question, why do I have video games and math on the same channel? Well, there's an answer for you. I hope that was fun and helpful. Have a wonderful day.